What is up everyone? This is Multitorals and today I want to show you how to optimize your iPhone storage. So a lot of folks actually don't know this, but if you go to settings and click into general, and if you click into something called iPhone storage, there's actually an option here. There's two options actually that lets you optimize your storage. So if you're not like one of the like me like i have the 500 gig one or even if you have this and you just use a lot of apps or you just have a lot of apps right or pictures mostly this will usually end up folks having like if you look at mine my apps and folders are almost identical <laughs> in the amount there of memory they're using right uh so you want to actually optimize both per se right and if again if it's either or this still works for you whether it's apps that you're optimized uh, like accessing over or photos accessing over this works so the first one is it gives you like recommendations on what you can do and we'll click show all to see the other ones but or this might be all of them is optimize photos this is an interesting one where it'll actually take the resolution all of it off your photos like it'll essentially because i don't know if you've ever noticed when you send a picture that you take on your phone as an email it'll ask you like hey what size it's small low medium large original and you'll see like the different variants like of uh, quality it similarly it'll put the low quality on your phone and you are able to like then once you get into the picture it'll like download the full quality again it'll just save it into the cloud so you'll still have it but the lower quality so if you had 100 gigs worth of pictures it'll sh shut it down to like maybe 20 gigs or 10 gigs so it does great optimization from that so you can enable that it even tells you full resolution photos and videos are safely stored in iCloud and your iPhone will use smaller size versions the other one is offload unused apps save 12.6 gigs automatically offload unused apps when you're low on storage your documents and data will be saved so this is interesting this is like like i said if you have a bunch of apps and like i do i have some apps that i probably haven't used for like five plus years right but i still want it because you, you i don't know i just want it <laughs> so you can technically do this component to offload set app and then when you click on it it'll like re-download it back once needed right so it's a pretty cool like feature to have I, I don't think yeah i think this is show all these are the two that you can kind of go for but yeah this is literally how you can optimize your iphone storage very cool information to have very good information to do and kind of utilize if you need to right like for me it doesn't matter i, I still have like 300 gigs right so but like i said a lot of folks don't really have that much space and you, they might want to kind of utilize this so yeah that's basically it uh, if you guys still have uh, any comments or questions concerns, let me know in the comment section below more than happy you guys out if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button guys in the channel make sure to subscribe with that notification bell and that motor is out peace